friends in this video we will see the difference between select and select expression how it works using PySpark in Databricks notebook so before we are going to the practical we will try to see how it acts in the SQL select and select expression so select expression accept the SQL kind of expressions in string format that will be the executed and uh, whereas in select right it will directly accept the columns in a data frame existing data frame so we'll try to see in that into practical so first of all we will try to take the necessary we'll try to import the necessary libraries which requires spark session as well as all the functions from the sql library now i am oh, we will try to initialize the spark session try to take sample data let's say we'll try to take some employees data id let's say name is rama let's say salary is thousand let's say the date of signing is 2019 01 let's say 23 So we will take the same records, let's say id2 name krishna, let's say 2000, let's say 624. Let's say ID three. Let's say Srinivas three thousand. Let's say I am twenty. Let's say for the record. Let's say ten twenty eight. So we'll remove the count. So we have taken four records. Now we'll try to take columns. So first one is ID, second one is name. Third one is salary, third one is date. Okay, now we will try to create df spark dot create data frame data equal to sample data comma. Schema come to columns now df dot show so 
have created the data as well as the columns and we are creating data frame out of that and we are looking the data attach and run So execution will take a while. Yeah, see, we created ID name salary date. Okay, now we'll try to see the difference between select and select expression. Let's say select we will try to take. So in the select, we will try to mention let's say id as for example i want to rename id as roll number okay and let's say name as it is salary and then date Okay, number, name, salary, date. Okay, now we will try to run and see how this is going to work. So, we are renaming it ID as roll number and we will try to display cell. See a column or function parameter with id as roll number cannot be resolved did you mean one of the following okay so it is not accepting if i take just id as we know this is going to fetch it the data okay yeah okay so this is not whereas in select it is not applying the condition now we will try to see the same case with select expression ok now let me do the copy paste ok id as rule number name salary date dot show now we'll try to run and see the same case. See, ID is converted as roll number. So this is one scenario. And we'll try to see the another scenario. Let's say, for example, for the date, I want to add another two months for the existing date. Let's say January, right? I want to see this as March. Two months I want to open for all the dates. So let's see in select expression will that going to work that function or not. Okay. Let's say add underscore months to underscore date. So what is the column name? Date. Okay. Comma format y y y y mm dd okay now comma two okay comma two here has let's say date okay let's say if i don't give as date here and if we try to run and see this see everything will display so if you look at it here Jan to March okay 6 to 8 9 to 11 10 to 12 it's appended two months for all the existing months now we'll try to rename this as date now so for the meaningful manner for understanding purpose we have taken as date okay so 
this is the different case in the select class we can able to only fetch the as usual column names in the select expression we can able to apply the aggregated uh, sql kind of expressions and we can achieve the expected goal so that's all for today's guys if you really like this video please do subscribe like and share it and